What's up guys welcome back to another video on the channel Poki Club and today we are going to talk about all the details of the season of Alola in Pokemon Go so I will leave the timestamps below in the description so check it out as well if you want to see a certain part and let's go ahead and look at all the details so the season of Alola has already started on Tuesday March 1 at 10 am local time and it will end at Wednesday June 1 at 10 am local time Next, get ready for the season of Alola. Pokemon from the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games are coming to Pokemon Go and during the season of Alola, you can look forward to 3 months full of events highlighting a variety of Pokemon that will be making their Pokemon Go debut. Then the bonuses for this season is going to be increased incense effectiveness while moving, increased damage for partic uh, Pokemon participating in the raids remotely. So if you join in remote raids then your Pokemon will do increased damage. Then you will get guaranteed gifts from Pokestop spins. Then you can get up to 2 free raid passes per day by spinning gym photo discs and the, your incense will last for 90 minutes. So I wanted to talk about one thing that is the stationary incense bonus will now be uh, removed but a new bonus that increases incense duration from 60 minutes to 90 minutes will take its place. So what I don't like here is that uh, like now each Pokemon if you are at a stationary location you are not moving then each Pokemon will spawn after 5 minutes. So you can get up to 18 Pokemon in 90 minutes by using an incense however in the season of heritage that took place you could get up to 60 pokemon in 60 minutes because of the one pokemon per minute spawn rate so now i don't like that bonus because we are getting just 18 pokemon instead of those 60 now and that i don't like it next pokemon first discovered in the alola region will be coming to uh, in Pokemon Go, so like you can see in the raid battles, we have Rockruff that does have a shiny and Tapu Koko. I have made a raid counter guide for Tapu Koko as well. I will leave its link down in the description. And in the wild, during the season, we will have the following Pokemon from the Alola region: Rowlet, Litten, Poplio. These are the three Alola starters. Then Pikipek, Young Goose that does have a shiny, Confi spawning only in Hawaii, and then Jang Mo O. That is a pretty rare spawn and most people haven't got it yet. yet. And these Pokemon will be available via evolution. So we have Datrix, evolution of the, uh, what is it? Rowlet and then Rowlet going into Dactrix and Dactrix going into Desiduai. Then we have Litten going into Toracat and Toracat going into Incineroar. Then we have uh, Poplio going into Bryony and that going into Pranarina. Then we have Picky Peck going into Trumbeak and Trumbeak going into Two Cannon. Then we have Young Goose going into Gumshoes that does have a shiny. Then we have Lycan Rock Midday Form and Lycan Rock Midnight Form getting evolved from their spree evolution Rock Ruff. Then these are the Lycan Rock spawns. And then we have Hakamo O that will be getting evolved from Jangmo O. And then we also have Komo O that will be getting evolved from Hakamo O. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it is good. Okay, and in various eggs we have following Pokemon Rowlet, Litten, Pop Leo, Picky Peck, Young Goose that does have a shiny, Rockruff that does have a shiny, and Jang Mo O that does not have a shiny, and we talked about it here. And this Go Battle League season will be very calm and relaxing. If we, if we don't have a, any ratings during the season, however, we'll have unique suit of opportunities for trainers that are new and experienced to compete. And now we are going to talk about these spawns for this season in the wild. So in the city areas, we'll have the following Pokemon, Alolan Rattata that does have a shiny, Alolan Meow that does have a shiny, Alolan Grimer that does have a shiny, Jolteon that does not have a shiny and evolution of Eevee, Makuhita that does have a shiny, Mincino that does have a shiny. Useful Pokemon here are Alolan Rattata going into Alolan Raticate is a good Pokemon for Kanto Cup. Alolan Meowth going into um, Alolan Meowth is a good Pokemon for getting Stardust as it gives 750 Stardust per catch. Then Alolan Grimer going into Alolan Muck is good for special event cups in the Great League like Kanto Cup and good in the Ultra League and the Ultra League Premier Cup. Then Jolteon is not good in everything but it is useful for getting the excel candies for the uh, Umbreon and Sylveon in the Ultra League and the Master League respectively. Then we have Makuhita going into Hariyama. Hariyama is a good fighting type especially in its shadow form. Mincino is not good. Next, 
we are have the pokemon spawning in the forest so for the forest we have paras that does have a shiny execute that does have a shiny a bomb that does have a shiny pineco that does have a shiny electric that does have a shiny rufflet that does have a shiny and jungus that also has a shiny so the useful pokemon here are going to be paras uh, uh, gives you bonus status per catch that is 500 status per base catch then we have execute execute is not really good for anything but it is useful for the let's go multi task of catching five execute so you can complete that and then we have Pineco going into uh, forest race good uh, decent in the great and the ultra league but a very spice pick and then we have electric going into manic trick good in the great league ultra league and also a pretty uh, good mega uh, raid attacker in its mega form that is mega um, is something <laughs> then next we have rufflet that does have a rare shiny and then young wheels Yangus is a new Pokemon that has have a shiny, so you can hunt for the shiny. Not really good in terms of meta usage. Then we have Pokemon spawning in the mountains. So in the mountains we have Alolan Diglett, Alolan Geodude, Cubone. All three have the shinies. Flareon that does not have a shiny. Baltoy that does have a shiny. Archin that does not have a shiny. And then Bolet that also does not have a shiny. So here the most useful Pokemon here are going to be Alolan Geodude going into Alolan. The Graveler is good in the Kanto Cup and that also going into Alolan uh, Golem is good in the Great and the Ultra League in the Special Event Cups like the Kanto Cup and Ultra League Premier Cup Classic Variant. Then next we have Flareon. Flareon acts as the same way as Jolteon. Not really good in the meta usage but you can get the Excel Candies for EV in the uh, for the Sylveon and the Umbreon in the Master League and the Ultra League respectively. Then next we have Golit. Golit going into Golurk is good for some special cups like Halloween Cup and it is also uh, decent in the Great and the Ultra League. Then next we have Archin. Archin um, is a very rare Pokemon so you can get that. Then next we are going to talk about the Pokemon that are going to spawn in the water areas. So first we have Alone and Executor that does have a shiny. Staryu that does have a shiny, Vaporeon that does have a sh uh, that does not have a shiny, Dratini that does have a shiny, Corfish that does not have a shiny, Titoga and Frillish that don't have a, their shinies. So here the meta Pokemon are going to be Alolan Executor is very decent in the Ultra League and since it is the evolved form of that so uh, of uh, the Alolan uh, of the Execute so you will get bonus status of 300 status base catch and here Alolan Executor being an Alolan Pokemon has a shiny rate of 1 by a 1 is to 64. Then we have Vaporeon. Vaporeon has the same way as Flareon and Jolteon. You can get the Excel candies for Sylveon and Umbreon in the Master League and the Ultra League respectively. And then uh, next we are going to talk about Dratini. Dratini going into Dragonite. And no, first we are going to talk about Dragonite. So Dratini going into Dragonite is good in the Kanto Cup, like, which is a special cup of the Great League. Then and uh, Dratini also going into Dragonite, which is the last stage of the evolution is very good in the great ultra league and the martial league spice pick in the great league but really good in the ultra league and martial league martial league classic very good league shines and in the ultra league very good in the ultra league premier cup then next we have corfish going into crawdont very 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 spice pick in the love cup for the great league and very 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 spice pick in the great league as well and it can be very decent in the ultra league as well titoga here is a very uh, rare pokemon that barely spawns in the wild so if you get that make sure to catch that and then we have frillish you can get the excel excel candy for the jellicent that is its evolution for the ultra league uh, and as it is good in the ultra league and the ultra league premier cup and you can also use jellicent in the great league it is super good in both those cups then next we have the hemisphere exclusive pokemon these pokemon will appear only according to the hemispheres so in the northern hemisphere we have lotard that does have a shiny bagwan that does have a shiny snivy that does have a shiny tepic that does have a shiny oshawa that does have a shiny deerling spring form and fungus that don't have their shinies so useful pokemon here are going to be lotard going into ludicolo is a very spice pick in the great and the ultra league then also, we have Begon. Begon going into Salamis, that is his last stage evolution. This is a super good dragon type raid attacker, and especially in its shadow form, it's the number one raid attacker in the game. 
then next we have snivy snivy is had a community day in the past sir period is decent in the great and the ultra league but ultra league you require exit candies but it's a decent thing Next we have Tepic going into Embor. Embor does had some play, uh, had some play in the Love Cup that was there, and it is very spicy between the Great and the Ultra League. Then Osha Ward going into Samurott. Samurott is decent in the Ultra League and does have some play in the Great League as well. Then we have Fungus that gives you 500 cards base cards to make sure to pass that. And then certain uh, certain Pokemon will be only spawning in the Seven Hemisphere. This includes Nilkada, Beldum, Sevadil, Deering in the Autumn form. Jaspin, Pelican, and Froki that don't have their shinies. So, here the useful Pokemon are going to be. First, we have Beldum. Beldum going into Metagross is going to the Great Ultra League and the Master League, especially in the Master League. And because Great and the Ultra League is a spice pick, and in the Master League, it's a super good Pokemon. In Master League, Master League Classic, Master League Premier Cup Classic, and Master League Premier Cup. In all those cups, it is really good. And also, uh, uh, Beldum going into Meta, uh, Metagross is a super good Pokemon for raids as a steel type raid attacker and can be used as a psychic type raid, atta raid attacker as well. It's the number one steel type raid attacker in the game, and it does have a mega form in the future that will be a monster in the game. So, make sure to get. Those candies, excellent candies for the great ultra league master league and also the reach as well. And next, here we have also have chestnut going into chestnut. Chestnut does have some play in the great ultra league and the master league. It's a decent pick. I would not say spice pick. It's better than that. So you can use if you want. Then we also have Froki. Froki going into Greninja is good in the ultra league, ultra league premier cup classic. Even that bring your cup as well, but it's a spice pick in those cups. And then also Froki going into Greninja will have uh, another uh, special form that is going to be as Greninja in the future. So make sure to get those extra planets as it's going to be a monster. Next we have in the 2 km eggs. We have going to uh, we are going to have Polyvac, Execute, Q Moon, Meditite, Wilmer, Barbos, all of those have shiny, all those six are shiny. We also have Chespin, Fennekin, Froki, Picky Pet and Young Goose. And Young Goose here does have a shiny. Then in the 5 km eggs, we are going to have Seal, Skarmory, Tyro, Azuril, Bonsley and Mantai, for Devi Pokemon and two of them. So the first few of them have their shinies and we also have the Alola starters that is going to be Rowlet, Luton and Poppy. Then next we have the 10 km eggs that are going to have Ryolu, Audino, Darumaka, Alumamola, Rufflet, Esper, all of these have shinies and we also have Axew, Gumi, Noibat, Rock Ruff that does have a shiny and Jangmo O that does not have a shiny. Next we uh, talk about the 5 km eggs that you get from the Adventure Sync, Re uh, Sync Rewards. You can get Kranidos, Shield on Happiny, all of these three have shinies. We also have Munchlax, Didene, and Phantom. Next, in the 10 km X from the Adventure Seek Rewards, we are going to have Dratini that does have a shiny, Begon that does have a shiny, Beldum that does have a shiny, Ryolu that does have a shiny, and Dino that does have a shiny, and Gumi does not have a shiny. Then we are going to get research on the islands of the Alola. So through the throughout the season, you will be able to complete different special research lines about each of the islands in the Alola. These will be available to collect until the season ends on June 1. And if you complete them by June 1, 2022, you will unlock a special bonus re special research line at the end of the season. And trainers who obtain the end of season special research by completing the four special research lines will be able to purchase the ticket in the shop for more rewards. So tickets for the that will be available yeah, in the shop to purchase for four uh, four dollars ninety nine cents USD. Then we are going to have a different island special research. First is the Mele Mele Island special research that is available from March one to June one. Then Akala Island special research. All of the uh, these are available from March to June. So like. Akala Island Special Research available from March 22, 2022 to June 1, 2022. We also have the Yulaula Island Special Research from April 12 to June 1. Then we have the Pony Island Special Research from May 10 to June 1. And we, we can get the end of season special research from May 25 to June 1. 
and that's pretty much all the details that you needed to know about the season of alola in pokemon go so you can see the description for all the links that i referred uh, in this video and extra videos that i recommend you to watch so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time